there's this component of glove side mechanics. Some things that I look for within glove side mechanics is upon hand separation, establishing direction, um, influencing some, some mechanism of your glove side to help influence your trunk rotation being delayed. Okay, so the biggest thing that I'm seeing is we look at you getting you close to this anchor point, right? So full calf contraction is your anchor point. So nothing with the upper body should, should happen until we get down to this anchor point here, because we talk about like hip shoulder separation, rotational energy, creating stretch that all goes out the window. If things start moving together before we get down to our anchor point, right? So again, we look at you here and we just look at your hip, your hip initiates rotation at a pretty decent time. This is where you're retracted. Now, if you were to land here, dude, you'd have a little bit, especially here, you had a little bit more rotational energy, but you really don't land fully and anchor fully until right about here. And you can see that these just start moving together, right? So you're creating a limited amount of, of, of stretch to then limit your arm speed acceleration and your forward acceleration um, to be blocked with that front leg. Now, you can see within the glove side, there's another kind of way to talk about like stability components for me with the glove side, you have to have the required stability to hold your glove side in a general plane of posture. And there's a, a trunk stability issue here as well. Um, to be able to go through space and express force, hold the direction, keep that connected. And like I said earlier, to influence that trunk from not wanting to rotate early. And you can see you're kind of having this little fly out here with this glove side. And there's no point in which you, you go, you know, glove side or front side, whatever you want to call it, extension, and then anchor down, connectivity, neutral trunk. And now as your trunk starts to rotate, that's when your glove side gets, or, or your trunk goes and gets your glove side getting you into what I see as your next breakdown being early launch, right? So your chest behind the lead knee and a little bit of trail leg hip flexion here, which is another showcase to me um, of a little trunk instability issue as well. So now let's break this down and showcase Garrett Crochet. I don't know if you have watched him in the past, but he's an absolute just stud, just a specimen. <laughs> so what he does, and it's a it's a pretty cool representation as uh, as well, because he throws a hundred from the left side. Now he's not one to have like a superior drive leg load, right? Like I mean, he gets a, a ton of forward momentum, gets a ton of acceleration into his drive, but you can see that there's no really like big time um, anything that jumps out to you essentially within his drive leg. Okay. But what he's able to do within his hand path and his, and his front side arm action and all this stuff is he's able to keep a neutral trunk throughout the entirety of his drive phase, okay? And the timing of this sequencing, if we, if we look at him at full anchor point here, is just exceptional, okay? So you create all this forward acceleration, boom, now you're anchoring down. His trunk's still neutral. So he's creating, like, I mean, his hips, you can tell by the back foot, almost in full rotation, Anchor down, trunk's now gonna initiate its rotation, which is gonna pull the arm through. Trunk gets going, goes and gets the glove side here. You can see a lot more glove side connectivity as you see that equal opposite little pattern here within his glove side and his throwing arm. And now his glove side's going into extension, or sorry, his trunk's going into extension, which brings his arm into extension and i mean this is just what we want right you draw a straight line from fingertips at ball release all the way to the back foot the lead leg is blocked bracing energy glove side still connected and and hands out front getting shoulder extension right all right dudes robbie Rowe here thank you for watching that video if you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis you can click that link right there also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails hit that link right there subscribe please you can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you wanna get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love, God bless. Till next time, see ya. Strike three, you're out!